What's up everybody, Keith Mitchell here from the Auto Hammer Dog Studios. And a couple weeks ago, I was approached by a PR company that wanted me to check out gaming candles. Now, when I first heard about that, I was like, gaming candles? I mean, I've heard of gaming foods and snacks and drinks and whatnot, but I've never heard of gaming candles. So I was like, sure, send me a couple. And they sent me out six. Unfortunately, I didn't get around to checking out these candles until weeks later because it happened during the week of PAX East 2022 and then we had a lot of reviews to take care of, but regardless, you know, enough excuses. I went ahead and checked out the candles and I want to talk about a couple of things I liked about them and things I didn't like about them. So they sent me out six different candles and various different games like Call of Duty, Call of Duty Warzone, uh, Dead by Daylight. One of them is from Warzone Pacific. Uh, one of them is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and not really, oh, this is another one that's Dead by Daylight. And again, I got six of them and there were three of them that I really didn't like, and there were three of them that I simply adore. So I'm just gonna go through the entire gamut of candles that I've got and talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about them. So let's talk about the ones that I didn't like. So this one says uh, for Call of Duty, and it says it smells like gunpowder, smoke, and total chaos. So I'm just gonna open these up so you can get my total reaction to these candles, okay? So this one, didn't like the way this one smelled. Oh, it smells like bacon. It smells like mango and bacon. And I'm not a fan of this one, uh, not at all. Again, let me just show you this one. <laughs> I don't like this one at all. Um, we've got the Call of Duty Warzone one, the Gulag, as it's called. And this says it smells like heated duels and second chances. This one's not bad. It's just not, it's not strong. At the time you're seeing this video, I've already burnt them down, but this is my initial reactions and reviews of the way they smell before I burnt them because you burn the candles and they go out. They're supposed to last about 30 hours or so. Um, so I'll do an update video telling you how long they lasted if I burn all of them. Uh, we got the one from Dead by Daylight. Again, they gave me two of these, two different ones. Uh, this one says it smells like darkness, despair, and horror. Yikes. All right. Oh, this one is strong. Um, this one smells like a like a fireplace, like ashes, like embers of a, of a fireplace after it goes out, burnt wood. It's what it smells like. And I guess dark and despair and horror, I guess it would sound like fire wood as it's being burnt to a crisp and no longer useful. I mean, it is dead by daylight. And I gotta say that what I don't like, somebody else may like the way it smells. And I think, it, I, I don't wanna say that I hate them. I just, I'm not a big fan of the smells. I have a certain, taste when it comes to smells so those are three i didn't really care too much for and there's three other ones that i really did enjoy so let's talk about those so we got another call of duty one this one's called duty pacific and this one says it smells like a tropical vacation with 150 friends well i don't have 150 friends but if you want to be my friend cool uh not burnt as i said this one smells like like aftershave it's I really like the way this one smells. It smells like coconut and aftershave. It smells so good, I really love, I love this one. This one's gonna get burnt immediately, so I will talk about this one later. Uh, we got another one from Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Let me just show you the inside of it. Wow, this one's hard to open, open! It's purple, and this one says it, oh wow. Chaotic great, chaotic great. Oh, this smells like plums. Plums, this one is like a, a sweet citrus. I like this one, I like this one. This one smells great. Oof. And we got the last one. This one's the big boy. This one again is Dead by Daylight. It's smoke, leather, and amber. This is a big boy. I could probably throw it at somebody and hurt them. This one smells sweet as well. I can't, I can't, um, I can't identify what this smells like, but it smells so good. Oh man. My wife has a better nose. I'm probably gonna have to have her help me with these candles. But again, these are six of them they sent out to me. Um, if you wanna get them yourself, there's a whole bunch of them. Let me open up the website for you to check it out. Go to wickenskull.com, I believe it is. And they've got a bunch of different candles on there. They've got one that's called You Died. Obviously it's from Dark Souls. I really wish they had sent me over that one, but it's sold out. 
and it says it's cranberry and black currant and pine. That smells amazing. I really want to try it out. They got one that's called a health and mana potion pack. I, it says lemon, ginger, and saffron. That sounds amazing. And they got another one called citrus, mango, and, and, and cedar. I really want to try that one. So, hey, Wick and Skull, if you want to send me out another candle, I would love to check that out. Otherwise, I'll have to wait because this one is sold out. It seems like all the popular ones are sold out. But I did want to do a quick review over these candles. And I really do think that they nailed what they're looking for. Uh, each candle has a, a um, what's the one I'm looking for? Each candle has a specific mood that's going for. Obviously, when you're playing the game and you burn them and it fills the room with such an aroma that you're going to feel like you're in the game. I guess it's some kind of a immersive thing here. And I got to say, for what they did and for what I can smell right now, they really nailed it. I just, some of these smells are just a little bit too strong for me. Other ones are just perfect. This Tiny Teeny one, excuse me, Tiny Teeny Wonderlands one is going to get burnt to a crisp because I love the way that one smells. I'm going to have to buy some more. But I really think that Wick and Skulls did a great job with these candles. Um, if you're asking for my opinion, obviously you are, you check out the video. I think these are great. I do think the candles are a little, little bit on the expensive side because they range anywhere from 20 to $25. Um, some of the bundles are a little more expensive than that. But if you're, if you're a fan of candles and you like the way things smell, I would definitely check those out. Again, check it out over wickenskull.com. Again, a big thanks to the PR company who I won't name because they probably don't want me to do that for sending out these candles to me. I do apologize. I was a bit too late on getting this out, but these candles are amazing. That said, folks, Keith Mitchell here from Not Hate Productions. Thanks for checking out the video. And if you like what you saw, please leave a comment below asking about anything about these candles. I'll be happy to answer those questions. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.